Hey, 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 hey. I'm watching another Corey Anton video. This one is about the drug problem, a general semantics perspective. And I think Corey and I think quite, <laughs> quite a bit alike on many levels. I think about meta perspectives. I don't know about a meta meta perspective. Uh, he brings up a fascinating to me ontological reality, if there is such a thing as an ontological reality, how there is no such thing as the drug or the person, that there are only people or there are individual drugs. And it got me to thinking about the self and how it's tempting for me to adopt a Hindu sort of view where it is realized, if that could be uh, accurate, how there is only the self, the one self with a capital S that is seeing everything through all these millions and billions and trillions of eyes that is being all these things, that there is only one being. But in another sense, uh, like Fung says, there that's that's ontology, but it's not cosmology in a, in a way it's not reality that the realization is sort of a false realization strange thing though I was watching a TED talk yesterday I'll see if I can put it up about how animals a lot of them have faces and this guy was was showing how on the inside we're all the same so it's a funny thing to me how I can see how in a way we're all the same and in a way there is no thing inside of every one and everything that is the same thing inside of everyone and everything so it appears as though from that view it might be kind of a brain trick an illusion to think that there is that we're all the same on the inside or that there is being or there is existence or there is the universe that those are abstractions sort of a, a myth or a mythological realm. I like to see how the nation states of mind or of consciousness, they're mythological, but they're all too real. Private ownership, in a way, it's another myth to think that I own something or everything or a, a pet <laughs> or uh, all sorts of things that are no longer in vogue it's pretty obvious to a lot of people now that uh, other people at a certain age you don't own your children you don't own your spouse maybe some people feel as though they do or there is some possession if you're my child if you're my pet well it's easier to own a pet than a child or to be responsible for them and some people will go to an extreme and, and see or realize how no, God owns everything, that, that everything that we get is on loan from God or from reality. We come into the world without anything, we go out of the world without anything. I suppose I cycle back around to the question of what is real. Is there really a self with a capital S or is there not? Is there anything that's really real? or are there appearances and is earth really a pale blue dot is earth really uh, a medium-sized sphere it's easy to say earth revolves on its axis if, if it said earth revolves around itself on its axis that's a strange thing to say I was thinking this morning about being centrally located how from a first person view everything centers around the first person but from the family level everybody in the family centers around the family families center around a community everything on earth revolves around the earth earth is central to it and those levels seem to be fairly real and, and everything that orbits the Sun or if, if there is this uh, baryonic center the Sun also in the solar system everything revolves around the center and the same thing with galaxies at least those that are spinning and I suppose even those that are globular clusters 
there is an observable reality to all those different levels until out at the fringe to find the center of the universe that might be kind of a Mobius point uh, or a Klein-esque thing. I like the Mobius point where the situation warps around itself and back unto itself and here I am just kinda throwing the words out there. Uh, Corey finished up this video and I noticed when he was talking about drugs that what he didn't say and then he said that uh, what is needed is more openness about these things and I remember once asking a, a friend of mine Warren about art because he was a, a really good artist a graphic designer and the psychedelic uh, Peter Max type of art was coming out and I asked him if he could draw like that because he had never taken any psychedelics and he said that no he didn't think that he could and that brings me to another question about sort of mystical types experiences or expanded consciousness how possible or impossible is it for people with or without taking some kind of a, a substance a sacred substance or doing some kind of a sacred uh, ritual uh, yoga practice meditation to get into say a, a state of realization where it is seen that there is this self with a capital S that is the same in everyone or to realize God or have cosmic consciousness God seems to be pretty accessible to a lot of people maybe maybe that's animism in our current state of spiritual evolution coupled with superstition very natural for me to be superstitious most people though I don't think get the feeling that they are God even though in the Bible it might suggest that that's the way to, to think in Philippians was it 2 4 2 5 to have the mind that you were in the form of God that's that's what it says according to some interpretations or that's how it could appear and apologists would say no 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 that's not what it says so meanwhile I'll see if I can find that Ted video that I liked so much and throw it up there I'm still wondering why why am I doing this it, it's fun uh, but I, I question it if I question it too much then I won't do it that I know that much for sure